Golden Road Hef Hefenweizen. Golden Road Brewery, Los Angeles, California. I saw this at Wine and Mars. And uh, it had a road. It was interesting. And it, what it struck me was it made in LA. <laughs> made in Los Angeles. What a fun. 16 ounces. I've been sipping on it. Golden Road Brewery. Everybody's trying to get in the microbrews now. They're popping up everywhere. But um, it's a Heffenweizen. Heffenweizens are from Germany. Like Palmer or um, the Palmer Franz, Francis Connor. They're, I always liked them. That's how got me in craft beer was uh, 1990s we started drinking. They had uh, Heffenweizen. I think Liney Cool Heffenweizen like in the 90s. I always liked it. Freshing, crisp, clean. Some wheat. It's a wheat beer but uh, summer I always thought they were great tasting. Had that banana cove and um, uh, kind of a uh, orange peel taste, but it does look like a Heffenweizen. That's a good start. Doesn't have much uh, foam, but um, I think it'd be hard to to pack just in a, a can. It's, it's hard for bottlers because I had a great, great. Uh, Heffenweizen by, uh, what was it? It was a German company, and it was one of the best Heffenweizen. was Pusher or something, German company. I thought it stunk in a bottle. I thought it was not average. But went to the bar and got it. It was one of the best tasting beers I've ever had. A lot of depth, complexity these beers. It's hard to, to get that complexity in the can and in the bottle sometimes. Let's get started. This is my opinion on Heffenweizen. It has a Heffenweizen taste. That's a good start. It's has that banana cold. And it has a fruity coriander type of taste. And it has some hops at the end. I've been drinking that. This is getting better as it warms up. Has that yeast? It doesn't have that yeast like uh, a German Heffenweizen. What what's the founder has a good Heffenweizen too. But this is this is decent. I'd give it a B. You know what? I had worse than this. I had what was it? Quite a few American Heffenweizens. They suck. This one is trying to be a Heffenweizen. Add what is it? Um, I forgot the company's name, but it's these. This is decent. This. If I taste it on tap, it probably tastes twice as good. That's the thing. I'm thinking, if it's decent in a can, it should be decent in a, in a, on tap. And I'll taste it on tap. Golden Road Brewery. We have one more taste. Yeah, it's it's good. Give it an 82. Good. Again, I'll have it on tap. Try it out, and and tell you what you I think about it because. These would be hard again. It's I've had beers that were I had on in a bottle and it was it was average and I spent like eight nine bucks a six pack out on tap. It was it was the best beer I ever had. It was Wolfsburg Old Guy on uh, these German companies. It's hard it's hard to pronounce, but it was a guy with an old beard on it. Just that and the bros gave it a. Uh, probably on Beer Advocate gave it a 98. So it was a good beer on tap. But it was in a bottle. It sucked because you're coming from Germany. And these are hard to store in a, a bottle or can. So I'll taste this Golden Road Heffenweiser on, a, on tap somewhere in L.A. It has to be on tap quite a few places. But, yeah. Popping up everywhere. Microbrews. Golden Road Heffenweiser with the road on it. One pint. Okay. If you see it in your area, it probably won't. If you're in LA, look for it. Golden Road Heffenweiz, let me know. If you're on, go on tap or anywhere in LA, you see it on tap, let me know. This is, this is a, I like Heffenweiz. Again, I always enjoy these beers because I always think they're refreshing, crisp, clean, complex, and this has a nice flavor that you don't really get in other taste in the, that you taste in the, it, everyday taste. So I, I enjoy Heffenweizens. 
Let me know what you think about Heffenweiser and even Golden Road. Have you had it? Probably not, but let me know. I'll talk to you again. Bye. Thanks for watching.